Let's have a look at the case study. Miss Silva taught literature in a degree college. She observed that students of English literature who were studying in first year had poor writing skills. They failed to score good marks in literature due to abrupt writing and absence of logical linkages in their answers. She decided to help students to gain mastery over writing skills. She chose one of the cooperative learning strategies to teach writing skills. Drama form was part of the syllabus. She thought drama form and told students to read Vijay Tendulkar's drama Silence the court is in session. She mentioned the points on the board which they should include in their write up. After presenting task to the students Miss Silva divided entire class in groups. There were 12 students in the class. So she made three groups where there were four members in each group. Then she informed them to discuss in group and note down important points related to task. Therefore, in the first step, students teamed up for their learning. Throughout the process, Miss Silva supervised the group processing and discussion closely and intervened whenever and wherever necessary. After group discussion, Miss Silva divided groups into pairs. Now she got six pairs in the class. She asked each pair to discuss the points which they have not discussed with the earlier group. She also asked them to add, cut and rewrite the points wherever necessary. In the end, they were expected to make list of points they discussed. Therefore, in second step, students paired up to discuss. After discussion in pairs, Miss Silva asked students to work alone on the task given and use the points they noted during the previous discussion. In the end, she asked students to discuss the result of a discussion and conclusion in front of the class. This is how students worked in team, pair and solo. Thank you.